Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. Well, the referee won't be quite as lenient next time. Got to tread more carefully. Let's fly here. And that is a free kick artist at work. What a goal it was. Our cameras on one man in a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts. Will he add more today on EA TV? Hello from the northwestern part of Spain, Galicia with its strong Celtic roots. We're at the Estadio Abanca Balaidos. I'm Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It's Celta Vigo taking on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. for Celta Vigo. Well, they should be hard to break down because they're set up to defend in numbers. But it's important they don't leave the front too isolated. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult to counter-attack. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Ferlon Mendy plays with Ashraf Hakimi in the fullback positions. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And this confrontation is underway. Well, a joy to watch. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. And plenty of room in the wide area. Decided to come in from the flank. He's got to score! And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy.
And the match back in business. Real Madrid with the advantage. Alvarado. Alexander Alvarado. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. And they need to get tighter. And it's gone behind for the corner. They take it short. And cutting inside. Can he finish? Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. <laughs> Elects to go short. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Might be a chance here. It was an excellent example of how to break at pace. Well, that's counter-attacking football at its best. They switch on so quickly when they win the ball back. It deserved a goal. It's with Blanco. Verissimo. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Oh, that pass easy on the eye. It has to be! And that goes down as a very disappointing attempt. Well, the keeper can't believe his luck. That's a really poor effort. Vinicius Junior, can he finish this? And a goal! They've added to the lead. What needed security? The ball rolling again, that's 2-0. Well, the hosts, as you can see, have enjoyed so much possession, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. Well, looking to put the ball to good use here. And space to cross it. Putting his body on the line. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. So the sound of the half-time whistle here at the Estadio Abanca Balaidos. And off and running again after a dizzying first-half performance by Real. Will we see more of the same in the second 45? Hakimi. And the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. De La Torre. Well, quite a few reports this morning in the sports blogs and tabloids indicating that Atletico are on the verge of adding to their squad in a very interesting way, Stuart. Well, no surprise there's been an official bid made. It's probably just a case of whether it's enough now, although I'm not sure it'll happen immediately. It's a good-looking ball in behind. 
just when we thought the goal would arrive, the grim reality hitting off target. Well, he never looked in full control, did he? That's a poor finish. creative look about this is it going to be well flinging himself at it and a substitution in the offing and there's the delivery well, did his job defensively they'll repeat the trick corner again Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Now sending it in. Can they stop it going in? And he clears it out of harm's way. Sané. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Oh, from miles out, he's done it! How about that for a pure strike? Terrific technique! Wondrous! So the action continues and Real very much bossing the proceedings. Well, this is the home of live football and we have more action from La Liga coming up for you. It's Celta Vigo and they'll be taking on Tenerife. Well, these fans have started to make their way to the exits here. The game is surely beyond them now. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Royce. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. And they know they need to stop him. Textbook defending inside the box. Royce. And it's with Osai Samuel. Well, the supporters think it's on. Getting in there to intercept. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Can he finish? Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. And that is that, the end of the game. It goes into the books as a win for Real Madrid. What did you think of their overall performance? Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today.
This is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans. Non-stop hype all week long. And now for the action. Hello and welcome to one of the most recognisable venues in world football. The Estadio Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Real Madrid against Espanyol. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Every reason to believe this is going to be something special at the Bernabeu and they get the ball rolling. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. And a throw in it's going to be. It's with Rojas. Well, we really ought to give credit to Real Madrid because their defence has been second to none. Best record in the league, Stuart. Well, they press the ball at the right times and then drop off at the right times too, which is key to any good defensive structure. Their tactical understanding is absolutely brilliant, which is why they've conceded so few goals. Oh, great vision. Can they get themselves in front here? And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0.
Koch. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Well, not to be. He had moved into an illegal position. Well, it's great that he wants to run in behind, but he has to get the timing right. They couldn't keep possession. Giovanni Reina. Oh, could be. He can't hold on to it. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. Well, the referee won't be quite as lenient next time. Got to tread more carefully. Let's fly here. And that is a free kick artist. What a goal it was! So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. Calero. Well, there you have it. The away team have had so much of the possession, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. Indeed, and first they have to win back possession. Well, he's given it away. Real Madrid get the throw in. Mendy. And back with Vinicius. Getting in there to intercept. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. And that is that half-time here in the Spanish capital. Second half excitement to come, we hope, here at the Bernabeu. High quality defending. Able to skip past his man. A goal! And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here.
on they go again and Real very much in control Bracic Uros Bracic and that was a very fine read and the danger is averted Vinicius Junior and oh, that's a well-timed pass oh it's cheeky oh we have just witnessed a special moment pure quality And this is turning into something of a rout, 4-0. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Munyain... Sané and unable to pick out a teammate and that'll be a throw well the seconds are ticking away and the home side in control Stuart what have you made of this? Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? They've created so many chances with some brilliant attacking play. I think oh, Stuart, they've got to score! Able to close down the shot. Jonathan Burkhardt. Not a great pass. Mendy and just slightly offside well Real Madrid are going to make the change now Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Hakimi, and the referee says that will do it. It's the end of the game, and it's a victory for Real Madrid. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today.
When the draw was made for this round of the competition, it was this match that captured everyone's attention. Arguably two of the favourites to go all the way. It's going to be fascinating. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. It's always well worth taking the ferry across from the European side to the Asian side of the Bosphorus, as we have done. Welcome to the Kadikoi district in Istanbul, the home of Fenerbahce. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And very excited to be bringing you this group stage game from the UEFA Champions League. It's Fenerbahce taking on Real Madrid. Well, thanks, Derek. The scene is set for a really good game tonight. We've got a great atmosphere inside this stadium. Let's hope the players perform. And here's the Fenerbahce lineup. Well, the way they're set up, it's vital that they don't let the opposition switch the play. They must lock them down one side of the pitch, but they should have an advantage in midfield. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Fernand Mendy starts with Ashraf Hakimi in the fullback positions. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And they get the ball rolling in this Champions League group stage confrontation. Vinicius Junior. So Bosloy. And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. Well, no way through. Well, having a look at the table, and this is what we enjoy about the Champions League group stage, it can be so very tight, Stuart. Yeah, it's been so competitive, hasn't it? Today should give us a good indication who will be going through, though, but it's going to be close, you have to say that. So, Bosloy. Getting forward. Vinicius Junior. <laughs> Determined defending. Paulinho Paul Ebere Onuachu is with Vinicius Junior well, spot on with that challenge Paulinho Petrae well he really read that brilliantly Sané. Can he find the right pass? Vinicius. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Oh, splendid skill. Lincoln. Paulinho. They could nudge in front. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. And there the attack ends for now. So Bosloy, it's an obvious offside.
Hakimi. Chance to play it in. Opportunity. And a goal! Now they have their opener. And now they can celebrate. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Lincoln. Batshuayi. Batshuayi. They are a goal down, but perhaps a chance to create something from this corner. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? So the corner played into the box. And so it is, the first half story has been written. And the second half of this Champions League group stage meeting is underway. Benabachi doing well to regain possession. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. Well, we have a mouth-watering tussle from La Liga coming oh, up. Oh, Derek, big moment here. Oh, it's off the post. Well, that would certainly have put them in a great position. But with only a one... Must score! Really good diving stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, there you can see Real Madrid haven't been able to control possession, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Well, that's right, preserving the lead and doing it really well. Can he convert? And blocked for now. Well, news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alex Scott. Oh, in with a chance! And a goal! Increase the lead, and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Nil here, and the ball is moving again. Well, apologies to our viewers for having to interrupt Alex just then. To confirm, Leipzig did score in that match, and their lead as things stand is 2-0. Is this the moment? Well, good defending, clattered out of there. Nicely timed tackle. Promising looking attack. Irfan Chan Kavechi. Chance to cross. Determined defending. A 
And he's made headway. It's opened up for him. And a goal to settle the issue once and for all. On they go again, and Real very much in control. Ten minutes to go. Making progress. So Bosloy using his body to good effect. Outrageously skillful. An incisive pass. And nearly the ideal ball, but a good piece of defending. Not taking into account all the stoppages. Two minutes to be added on. Sané. Oh, the threat is there. And fine goalkeeping. And the referee says that will do it. It's the end of the game and it's a victory for Real Madrid. No fans are going to be happy with this. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest.